Cross the open 19.5 thrusters and pull ups. We we're always expecting thrusters. We knew they were coming and we've got them in abundance. A whole lot of reps with a whole lot of chest to bar pull ups. So, first thing is going to be uh, this workout. A lot of chest to bar pull ups is a high risk for ripping your hands. So, do look after them. Shave down the calluses, shave down anything you've got. If you do rip your hands, it's going to be very, very painful. But we all know how painful it is when you do rip your hands. But yeah, this one is a 20 minute time cap. Time cap seems to be very, very generous so far from what we've seen with the scores that have come in. But if you are going to finish it, then it's a whole lot of thrusters and it's a whole lot of chest to bar pull ups. So it's going to be about uh, controlling your, for the most part, it's going to be about controlling the pace on your thrusters. Think of that Rich Fronin pause at the top, breath, breath, and go. Controlling that pace on the thrusters and not blowing your beans too early, so to speak. Not going out too hard that you uh, are then flailing at the bar trying to get your chest to bars in. It's not, a tr it's not necessarily a transition workout, but carrying on from that pacing. If you do go far too quickly and you do really push the boat on the thrusters, then you're going to be probably staring at the bar for a very, very long time before you can jump up and get into your pull-ups. So control your breath on the thrusters, don't, don't let yourself run out too early and uh, control yourself between the thrusters and the chest bars. So a lot of reps going, this is likely going to be a one and done for most people because it's a lot of volume to have to redo again in a couple of days. If you do want to redo, go at, it, go at it hard, get after it, get your thrusters, get your chest bar, enjoy 19.5.